production is made possible by Triumph, Canada's National Laboratory for Particle and Nuclear Physics, and by INSERT, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, working with young Canadians to promote an understanding of science and engineering, and by the Vancouver Foundation. Fourteen billion years ago, the universe exploded into being, creating an expanding ball of hydrogen gas that over time clustered together to form the stars. These stars ignited into stellar furnaces that created the heavier atomic elements. Eventually, they exploded into supernova, spreading these newly created elements across vast regions of space. Eons later, these elements gathered together again to create new stars, and new solar systems, like ours. Elements that make up the Earth, the air that we breathe, the water that we drink, even our bodies. We are made of stars. In a quest to understand the origin of the universe and the creation of the elements, scientists from around the world use particle accelerators, like cyclotrons, to recreate the subatomic reactions that take place inside stars and supernovae. So where will we find the cyclotron and these scientists that study the stars? Right here at Canada's National Laboratory for Particle and Nuclear Physics and home of the world's largest cyclotron. I'm Dr. Marcel Pavan and welcome to Triumph. Electromagnetism and circular motion in a cyclotron. Brief overview. Triumph Cyclotron is sophisticated technology that's not as complicated as it may seem. So, what is a cyclotron and how does it work? Well, to study the stars and supernova, we need exotic atoms not found on Earth. So we use a cyclotron to create them. Of course, there is much more to the process of creating exotic atoms. So let's begin with a brief overview of how it works. We start with a beam of negatively charged hydrogen ions that are injected into a vacuum beam line. The ion beam is focused and steered into the cyclotron, where its velocity is increased to tremendous speeds. The electrons are ripped off the ions, creating a positive proton beam. This beam is smashed into a special target, shattering large atoms into smaller atomic fragments. From these fragments, exotic atoms not found on Earth are filtered out and sent to the experimental areas. Sounds simple, doesn't it? And for the most part it is, because all you need is high school physics to understand the basic workings of a cyclotron. So now let's take a more detailed look at how a cyclotron works.